Hi guys, welcome back to Learn Class 9 Max in CRT and CBC. And this is me, Badri. We are with a new topic that is number system, which we have already done the exercise 1.1 and we have solved it and discussed it. And now this is 1.2. So let's go to the video. So the next term is a really important and an easy sum, but it is little understanding sum. So which is exercise 1.2 chapter 1 number system and that is show square root of 5 can be represented on a number line so they are asking to show 5 square root of 5 on a number line so let's show so before that let's write our formula where this is called Pythagoras theorem where we know one side two sides but we don't know the other side so then we use the Pythagoras theorem in this place where we need to find square root of 5. So, what number comes here? So, we get square root of 5. So, that's what. So, where here A and this is B and this is C. So, AC square is equal to is equal to AB square plus BC square. Yeah. So, where AC square is a AC square and so a so we know that a c square is square root of 5 so a b square should be what 2 square 2 square is 4 plus 1 square where 1 square is 1 okay and now we are gonna like a c square is equal to 4 plus 1 and a c square is equal to 5 and a c and here comes square root of 5 so this is the formula which you need to write before doing the sum. So now let's go into the practical. So they have said that square root of 5. So take a random measurement. So I am taking a scale. So let's start from. Okay. I took a random measurement. So this is the random measurement which I took. Okay. So you need to mark with a compass the centimeter. So I will take my compass and my scale so I am going to take the unit 1 centimeter yeah so I am locking it so you can directly even do it with the scale and like put the one unit like the one centimeter number but i am doing in the compass because it's little easy this number as two and this number as three four five six so six is enough because i just taken randomly and let this be zero one six so what i'm gonna do is take my compass yeah we will take a protractor so they told that uh, two and one so let's keep it in the number two over here so let's keep the protractor perfectly on this line and here you can see 90 let's mark this point as 90 okay connect this two okay so from two to the 90 degree we have connected so let's take this out the scale and let's take our compass and take one unit okay fix it over here And make a circle so make an arc over here like this yeah then connect the point from connect the point from this dot 
to this. So let's connect this. This dot to this line. Okay? And this where this one is square root of 5. And so we can see the distance over here with the scale. So when you lose square root of 5, what does it come? It comes around 2.36 something like that. So let's find that. Okay. So yeah, it's like I've done with an app. So it doesn't show proper, but you can see it's coming around 2.2 or 2.3 over there. And then we have to like show what is the measurement. And this sum is really a main sum and it can be in many times. And next one is a spiral load, which is the most important one. Don't skip. <laughs>